We can all sense how far away things are. There are lots of ways we perceive distance, but a classic method we learn at a young age is that things that are further away look smaller. In this activity, you and your children will explore how size affects the way we perceive distance and use that knowledge to try and trick your own brains. Our brains use visual information like the size of objects to tell how far away things are. A fun way to start investigating this is to compare the size of a toy car held close against your eye with a real car across the street. So they do look the same size, but are they the same size? No, they're no. just tipsy-wincy. You're right, you're right. That one I can't do that to. <laughs> you So just now, when we were outside, we were holding up this small car against a car across the road. And how did the car across the road look, the real car? Smaller. But, but which one is bigger? That one. And why did that one look smaller? You can explore the idea further with a simple drawing activity. So what we're going to do, you're going to grab a pencil and I'm going to draw a house over here and you're going to draw a house over there. Working together, draw two houses on a piece of paper. I might do a rocket launcher sticking out of my house, aiming at your house. By introducing some visual cues to these drawings, you can start to experiment with your understanding of how our brains process depth. It's a good house. Now what we're going to do... Yeah? We are going to draw a line from here to here, using the ruler, um, to separate the landscape from the sky. Do you know what we call that line? Horizon. Yeah, there you go. Next, add the horizon, a horizontal line that cuts across the image and separates the ground from the sky. Uh, just point it anywhere on that line there. Uh, right there? Okay, so I'm going to draw a little dot just where you put your finger. Now, this, that little dot, that's going to be the point where something is so far away we can't see it. Next, add the vanishing point. This can be anywhere on the horizon line between the two houses. Draw lines from the corners of your houses going towards the vanishing point to add in the side walls and give the drawing a 3D look. Encourage your kids to think about how positioning and size make things look near or far away on the drawing and how that's similar to real life. Whose house looks bigger? Me, me, me. And why does your house look bigger? because it's closer to the end of the page and because I made it bigger. And what about mine? The one looks smaller because it's closer to the other end of the page. Well, whose house looks closer to the vanishing point? You. And whose looks further? Me. I have a little Lego man with me over here and I'm going to put this Lego man right by the door to your house. How does he look in terms of size? He looks small. You can play around with your drawings by adding in toy people at different points. What about if I put him next to my house over here? My house looks tiny, so he does look like a giant. He looks like a giant. The toy people will look small in some parts of the drawing and like giants in others because their size does not change relative to the drawing. And we can take advantage of this idea in a simple illusion. So now we know that things that are far away look smaller, we're going to use that to trick our brains. So we're going to cut these out and we're going to build a weird shaped room. This weird shaped room, also known as an Ames room, is a false perspective room. A type of illusion that takes advantage of how our brains perceive depth. Download the templates from the RI website, carefully construct your Ames room and take a look through the peephole to see it for yourself. So have a look inside through that hole. How does that room look? It looks normal. When our viewpoint is restricted like this, all the angles and lines of the room are positioned in just the right way to appear as a normal shaped room. But if you add in two objects of the same size, such as two toy people... So, how do they look in terms of size? Do they still look the same size? Oh my gosh. No. Who looks bigger? That one. But there's the Lego minute we just had, right? 
but then one of them looks smaller. And why is that? Because it's further away. How to explain? It's, it looks like a straight house. But when you look at it from in here, it looks like normal. When you look at it from here, it looks like it's straight house, but it's actually not. Illusions like this boggle our brains. While doing your drawings and looking at the Ames room, ask lots of questions. For example, ask your kids if they can work out how this illusion works to trick their brains. Me and Sahara had a great time today building our own Ames room. You can have a go doing that yourself. Just download the templates on the RA website and also send us pictures of your Ames rooms as well. We'd like to see them. And don't forget to like and subscribe.